السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We are coming here to pray Janaza and commemorate the 24th anniversary of the massacre of Srebrenica or the genocide of Srebrenica. What happened here is behind or beyond your imagination. These places, you can see them here, were where they were putting the people of Bosnia and killing them like animals or like birds or like insects. And this building, this building in Potichari. This, this happened where the United Nations military forces left the Bosnian uh, displaced people in the hand of those terrorist groups who came and killed them like animals and birds and insects. Today, we are standing to pray Janaza on the new 33 bodies that they found. They found remains of the body, like piece, a piece of bone here, a piece of bone here, a piece of bone here, a piece of bone here. And today, we are going to pray on these 33 uh, bodies, inshallah, Janaza. And there are about 30 to 40,000 uh, people here. From, from, no, we came with a group from Canada, from South Africa, from UK, from America, from Turkey, from Tunisia, from everywhere to come here and to stand and to say enough is enough for war, enough is enough for genocide, enough is enough for ethnic cleansing, enough is enough for hatred, and we are going to build peace in Bosnia. We are not going to see this massacre again in Bosnia. We are not going to see this massacre again in Bosnia uh, because we are going to fight for peace, to establish peace, maintain peace, and sustain peace, inshallah, in Bosnia, and not only Bosnia. We have to fight for peace for the people of Rohingya, we have to fight for peace also for the people, the Uyghur in China, the, the, the Yemen uh, massacres, as well as, well as uh, the uh, Syria, what's happening in Syria as well. Everywhere, even Democratic Republic of Congo, even Central African Republic, even anywhere and everywhere, that we have to stand up for peace. And see thousands and thousands of people are coming here to, for the respect of the 33 dead, and the respect of the 24th anniversary of the massacre and the genocide of Srebrenica, which claimed at least, at least 11,000 lives, but we have so far, we have nearly found 9,000 uh, 9, uh, remains of body, which 33 of them will be buried today, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair, stand up with us for peace, we stand up for peace, we stand up for peace. Today is 11th of July, 2019, it's the 24th anniversary of the massacre in Srebrenica, which claimed at least 9,000 people. The other figure could be up to 11,000 people. We just prayed Janaza for 33 remains of body have been found since last year. Last year was about 37 remains of body, in which one body was being found in five different locations. So we're here today, all of us, to say enough is enough. And you can see the coffins here, all the coffins of the 33 bodies, which are going to be buried uh, now, inshallah. And about 30,000 people or 40,000 people are in the town of Srebrenica and trying to remember the loved one and to bury the loved one as well. Enough is enough for killing. Peace is a solution. In this place, these two buildings, which was the headquarters of United Nations in, 20, in 1995. United Nations uh, Peace Forces uh, surrender it is, uh, these centers to the Chetnik or to the, what you call it, the leaders of the Serb in this area, where they claim the life of at least 11,000 Bosnian in this area. It's extremely strange to be slaughtered in about three to four days in these two buildings. This is, this is a very ugly scar on the face of United Nations. This is a very ugly scar on the face of humanity, in the face of every Muslim and non-Muslim leaders who claim, who is claiming or they are claiming that they are stand up for humanity. Here, humanity was not present. Humanity and humanitarian feeling was absent under the auspices of United Nations when they left this uh, uh, innocent civilian to be slaughtered like animals or birds by the hands of those individual terrorist groups who came to kill all the one, the young one, and separated men from women and all whoever uh, uh, ran away to the woods, they got them in the woods and they killed all of them. This is an ugly scar happening here in these places, and we are going to go there 
to see some of the writings of those people before they were killed by these forces in 1995. We are telling the United Nations, we are telling everyone, enough is enough. We need to stand up together for peace. We need to stand up together for peace. And this is an ugly scar on the face of the, uh, Holland. Holland and its military forces was supposed to be supporting and helping and protecting the displaced people, but they surrender to those terrorist group who killed or claimed killed all these thousands of people in this place. We are here standing at the headquarters of the United Nations uh, Peace Forces, which was related or was a part of the uh, Dutch United Nations, the Dutch United Nations uh, uh, Peace Forces here. This uh, Peace Forces of the United Nations have surrendered to the military leaders of the Serb army and giving them all the people who are, uh, were here as displaced and hostages in more than one warehouses of this area. Soon the United Nations forces left the area and they separated the men from the women and they started killing the, the men like animals, like birds in uh, uh, July 1995. Here, our appeal is to the United Nations never again to do this mistake. It's, it's a scar on the face of the United Nations as governments and United Nations as establishment. Never humanity should allow some th such thing to happen again, not only in Bosnia, but anywhere and everywhere, particularly in Yemen, particularly in for the Rohingya in Myanmar, particularly for the Uyghur in China, particularly for Syria, particularly for DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo, particularly for uh, uh, Central African Republic and the others, other country which is suffering from this atrocity and this ethnic cleansing everywhere. Never again. Never again. And here we say to Bosnia and to the people of Balkan that we are with you to build peace. We are with you to establish peace. We are with you is actually to sustain peace and make peace sustainable globally. Even if the governments failed, even if the governments kept selling the arms to the terrorist groups and claiming that the, actually the innocent people who are the terrorists. From Puticari, Srebrenica, Bosnia, Herzegovina, uh, 11 July 20, uh, 2019, 24th anniversary of the massacre of Srebrenica, where today we are going to bury 33 new remains of bodies. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from Srebrenica. Mm -hmm.